Laurentian University's robotics teams recently triumphed on the global stage, bringing home a haul of trophies. Some of those students were celebrated in Sudbury today. CTV's Amanda Hicks has more. This is just one of the machines that represented Canada at the FIRA Robo World Cup last month in South Korea. The international competition saw 40 teams from more than 10 countries put their robots through tests like lifting weights, sprinting and the triple jump. Across five events, Laurentian University's Robo Parks and Snow Parts teams brought home four gold, two silver and three bronze medals. Getting this uh, championship from the South Korea, we really feel uh, we can do a lot in Canada, in Ontario, uh, in North Ontario, in Sudbury. I'm so proud with the, the students, all, all of them. Um, they chipping times, um, weekends times, hours into making this happen. Um, it is not easy, especially we have to travel far from Canada to South Korea. Um, all the flights, jet lag, and they still pulling everything together. The team also won the U19 championship. It was the first time a Canadian team has ever competed in that age category, which included high school students from Lockerbie Composite School. It's difficult because sometimes the robots will not tell you why it's wrong. You need to find the run by yourself. Today, MPP Jamie West awarded the students with a legislative scroll in recognition of their achievements. So, you know, inspiring and letting younger people know what's, what's possible is also important to us. And with the rapid advancement of artificial intelligence, Lau says more students have become interested in robotics. I'm happy to see more and more students actually get involved. I started the lab with just only two students in 2024. Now I have more than 10 or 15 students. Canada will host the Robo World Cup for the first time next year in Markham. Lau says teams already have their sights set on 2026 and he hopes to get more students involved across additional categories by the time the event rolls around. Amanda Hicks, CTV News, Sudbury.